guys welcome to my channel thanks for joining if you're new to my channel please like comment and subscribe and press those post notification bells if you are looking at this look and want to know how I did it it was a quick look for my ugly sweater day today for work and yeah just watch the video and if you like what you see, please share with a friend. And if you're returning, thanks for returning. Hope you like my video, y'all. And let's get right into it, okay? Okay, so I'm starting with my eyebrows. I'm just going to shape them. I put some concealer under my eyebrows and over my eyebrows. And also on the beginning of my eyebrows, above my nose bridge, I just to contour my eyebrows, you know. I'm putting some uh, concealer on my forehead, on my nose bridge as well. This concealer over my eyebrows, on my forehead, and on my nose, it's a lighter complexion than what I am. The same concealer I'm putting under my eyes uh, to hide any dark spots and blemishes that I want under my eyes. I'm putting some over my eyes, lids, so the foundation, the eyeshadow can pop. I'm going to put some of the same light color foundation on my lips. Now I will take the same brush and put the darker foundation so it's a bit darker than my skin tone on the side of my nose bridge and under my cheek so I can contour that as well. So the darker parts will go under my cheekbones and the lighter ones over my cheekbones. I'm using my finger now just to put in the some of the uh, concealer so it will blend. I am now coloring in my eyebrows with a dark brown pencil. I love using the dark brown pencil and then just combing it out as need be on my eyebrows. This is an eyebrow gel, so it has like the brush. So if you see, I'm trying to shape it out with the eyebrow gel after applying the brown pencil. Continuing with my fingers to blend out the concealer on my over my eyebrows, under my eyebrows, on my eyelids. I'm taking the stipling brush because this is faster, so I am blending it out where I put it on my face, all the concealer. You can let it bake some more if you wish. If there's spots you want to leave with concealer, you can. If not, you can just blend it out. Some of my footage got deleted, so I put some blue eyeshadow on my eyelid, and now I'm putting this red lip gloss. It's like a lipstick, very matte, over my eyelid. Yes, it's unconventional, but it works. The color is popping, and I will use this on my eyelid and then over my, my lips. You can use a different brush as what I'm doing over eyelid or if it's your makeup, you can just use it on your eyelids and on your lips. No worries there. Now I'm applying it to my lips. You see it's a dark red, giving it a 90s feel. Now I'm going to apply a lip gloss. I believe it's LA lip gloss over this because it, the lipstick is so matte that you need something to put over and show that glossy feel and hydrate. So now I decided to put some glitter over my eyes lids to add that to my sweater and add to the Christmas feel. So if you're doing this, you can keep the glitter on your crease over your eyes. 
However, I was not feeling it, so I later took it off and redid my makeup, as you will see. So you can just apply that to both eyes. If you love glitter like I do, just, you can keep it. But you know, some days you feel glitter and some days you don't, girl. So here I'm contemplating like about the eye, the sparkles. I'm like trying to blend it out to look a bit better. And here I'm just thinking, should I leave it? Should I keep it? Does it look good? Am I feeling it? I decided to take it all off because some sparkles got in my eye and I was not feeling it. So here I'm restarting. You see I put the blue over my eyelid. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta restart, girl. I'm putting some white over that now, so a lighter color over the blue on top of my eyelids. I'm just trying to erase some of the sparkles, any makeup that I came off. Doing the same to the other eye. So now I'm just blending in the white on top. It's more like a, a cream color on top of my eyebrows. Now I'm putting back the lipstick over my eyelids. To the red lipstick because we restarted yo sorry about the mishap but you know sometimes that happens so I'm just cleaning up there's still some sparkles under my eyes due to it being uh, it was very loose sparkles now I'm just doing a eyeliner black eyeliner making it a little bit winged but not so much mascara because I'm not adding lashes Just blending in the eyeshadow a little bit. My ears are cheap. <laughs> blending in the eyeshadow some more. Some more eyeshadow. I mean, sorry, some more mascara I am adding. Now I want to add some diamonds. Since I'm not adding the sparkles, I want to add some diamonds. I'm going to place it actually under uh, my eyebrow so it will be up. I put some glue on the gems so they could stick and wipe away any excess uh, glue that there may be. So I'm putting a bit, a medium gem under my eyebrows and then near my eyes I will put a smaller teardrop one I'm just trying to make it even as possible it is a bit hard especially with long nails now I'm trying to add the smaller ones, hoping that it, it will stick. I put a little bit of glue on that as well, and I'm just cleaning around it and uh, trying to make that stick under my eyes.
When applying the gems, try to make the glue get tacky because sometimes it, uh, if it's too wet, like it will just, you would just have to wait till it dries to clean it up. But I try to make it get tacky and put it under my eyes. And then once that is done, I'm done, yes! <laughs>